right. I'm gonna try and make this one pretty quick because it's really not a knife review, but we're listening to the Cure Pornography record. I'm sure most of you know who the Cure are, and if you don't, amazing band, done a lot of music over the years. I've seen them play a few times. This is a great record of theirs. Filled with great songs. There's a lot I could say about The Cure. This is a great vinyl pressing of it. Vinyl lovers pressing. That's that, that's The Cure. That's who we're listening to in the background. Remember to like and subscribe, moving along. Drinking the rest of this because I was drinking it earlier for my knife review of the Benchmade 87 Bali song. And I'm just still drinking it now and felt like just going ahead and getting this. Quick reviews of these couple things I got, which is this is the Kershaw Torque set. Let's get into this and take a look. Comes in a nice little Kershaw box. Not a lot to say about the Kershaw box. It's kind of cool pieces here. I think they give you five. You have a Phillips and you have a flat head, which is always useful. You have a T6, T10, T8. And that's what you have. Just enough to do your work on your most of your knives right there. And you carry that around. It's nice and simple. I'm hoping that they're made with some quality and aren't gonna just strip out, but we'll see about that over time. I like this. I liked it better than looking at some of the other options for what I wanted. I didn't wanna carry around a big set of things. I wanted something small, compact. That's how big that is, right, right there. Nice and small, simple. So when you have these things, they're a little bit magnetic in there. You can feel them pulling. And that's kind of how they go in there and then you can use them on your knife. So kind of cool. I like that. That's exactly what I want. Right. The next thing, I haven't really opened this yet. I took it out of the packaging for that. Um, I have a couple of sanding stones, but I wanted to get a, a bigger set. And I was actually, I'm not sure, but I might return this. I might not. So I'm kind of doing this video in front of you guys to see because I was hoping these were going to be a little wider but they're not that bad I kind of feel like maybe they're just going to be fine and I can use them let's take a look I think they're going to be fine Rezori um, I just went on Amazon and looked at the different things I searched extra large sanding stones and this comes with a set of 400, 1,000. You know, I have a, I've been using a cup. I don't, I've never had this big of a sanding stone. I kind of want it a little bigger. I have a Spyderco pocket one and I have a couple other like kitchen sharpeners. These are cool. This is a flattening stone. It helps you flatten it down. Um, it came with this, and it came with this bamboo. That's how they go. And then when you need the different size, you do that. And you either flip it over, depending on which way you want it. And it kind of grips onto whatever surface. Yeah, it does feel like I'm trying to slide it, and it's pretty grippy. And it comes with this um, sharpening angle. I'm not sure I'll be using it. Maybe I'll try it. The angle guide right there, see? That's how they recommend it. And it floats on the back and keeps you at the right angle. But what if you want a different angle? I don't know. I have to experiment here. I've never really used one of these. I've always just had a block and sharpened it myself or just didn't. I figured out ways to sharpen. I'm not a great sharpener, but I have sharpened knives quite a few times but I've, I'm more barbaric about it you know and I kind of want to refine my process you know I've always found a way to make a good edge and be careful I've never like really totally screwed up a knife by sharpening it yet I've always made it better than what it was when it started so I feel kind of mildly confident about being able to sharpen a knife it's not rocket science grind a penny to make it a dime 
and put it in a parking meter. I don't know Rizori. I just went on Amazon. I picked it out. This is it. They all seem like when you're on Amazon shopping for something, you're just like, this is all coming out of the same factory. They just slap a name on it and that's it. I don't think Rizori makes these stones themselves and they're, you know, it's all bullshit. You know, whatever. Maybe I'm wrong. I think Rezori, they probably make something else. And so they decided, let's make a sharpening stone too. Maybe they only make sharpening stones. I don't know. These look like they're going to do the trick. Say my bench made, I needed to sharpen it. That's how big it is there. This is what I've been using for a while. These are significantly bigger. And this, I just have, a, I just feel like can't sharpen as like I want to. And these have 400 if you really want to get in there and something that's really chipped up and messed up and you really want to grind something down, that's there. You can move to 1,000, move to 3,000, then 8,000 for the really fine. And I forget what these are offhand. But that's a smooth one. It's ceramic. I forget what this is. And these are wet stones. I believe you have to soak them. Soak the sharpening stone in water for five to 10 minutes and get all the air bubbles out of them apparently. And then that really helps you be able to sharpen them. This is a dry stone. I don't think you do that with that unless I've been doing it wrong, but I'm pretty sure you don't do that with this. Um, you just sharpen on this stone. So it's kind of cool to have both. And this has the Spyderco logo. And that's kind of what I've, been using. You know, I also use this sometimes just kind of clean off my knife. This thing right here, this seems really cheap. Like this is not something, this just feels really wimpy. It's like, it looks like a belt for a really skinny girl. Maybe I could put it in the thrift store and then some girl will buy it for a belt. Um, but I don't know. I'll probably give it a try. I thought it was supposed to come with some sort of compound with this. Uh, that's disappointing. Luckily I have some, but that's kind of weird. That, let's see. No, it doesn't. And then here's another thing I got. I got this free from Knife Center when I got my Benchmade 87. Um, let's just go ahead and get into this. All right. Recommended by this guy that has like fake dirt all over his face and shit. Survival guide. Oh Lord, I don't know. This is just kind of cheesy. This is the stuff that like, I just think is funny and cheesy. Oh, it comes in a few languages here. Let's see what language they choose. So let's see how to build some stuff, how to start a fire, how to tie knots, how to like make a shelter. That looks like how to take a bath. I don't know. Uh, I think that's digging a hole, a pit and staying warm. Some interesting stuff, I guess. Food, blah, blah, blah. Priorities of survival. So here's the other language. So let's see, I think it's French, which is funny. Okay, why did they choose French? Yeah, it's French. So out of the two languages, they're marketing towards the French and English. I wonder why. Maybe he's popular in France. Maybe I'll send this to one of my friends in France. All right, anyway, so there's that. I was trying to make this video short. All right, here's this. I mean, it has a whistle on it, whatever, thanks. I liked when Knife Center gave me the kitchen, the steak knives better. I use the steak knives. This was like free when you order something. Give me my other steak knife. I have two or three of them, and now I want, I need a fourth steak knife, not this thing. Anyways, let's get back to this. I think I'm gonna keep these. I am. I'm gonna keep them. So I'm gonna take this off. Ooh, yeah. You can feel 
the difference there. Risori. Italian with like Japanese writing or looking sort of writing. Not Japanese writing, but looking Japanese almost. It just reminds me of like something Japanese font, although it's completely not Japanese, obviously. And you got a 3000 and an 8000. Cool. And then here's the angle. All right, yeah, I got this. You got this. The little girl's belt out of here. That's the extent of what we went through today. Um, all right, sorry if that was kind of painful, you guys, but thank you guys for watching. I'll let you know how my sanding blocks go and what I think of these as I move along and sand some knives and stuff. Um, thank you guys. Remember to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this about these blocks. I'll let you know. I'll let you know how this works out. We'll see if I can finally get to a point to where I can fit this around my waist and then I'll actually film that for you. It would be worthy of a video. All right. Damn right I got knives. Signing out. Take care.